everybody. My name is Janine and I'm the children's pastor here at All Saints Church in Lynchfield. Can we all say a big hello to our friend Brenda? Oh hello everyone! Hi Brenda, how are you today? I'm very well thanks Janine but do you know I'm full of wiggles this morning so do you think we could start with a song that I can dance to please? Brilliant idea. Okay, everybody, up you get, find a space, and let's sing and praise our great gods. some great singing and dancing everybody well done are you all sat back down and ready to listen brilliant okay brenda would you like to see a really cool trick oh yes please okay have you ever seen raisins dancing no i've never seen raisins dancing well shall we give it a go and see if we can make that happen oh yes so for this, you're going to need a glass. Have you got a glass there? Yep, yeah, one second. Okay, brilliant. Nice and careful, everyone at home with a glass. Well done, Brenda. Brilliant. Now, Brenda, do you have something fizzy like lemonade? Oh, yes, I do have some of that. One right. second. Brilliant. Now, if you're doing this at home, you need to fill the glass just over halfway, maybe three quarters full. Oh, this looks like really delicious lemonade. A bit more, Brenda, keep going. About there, should be good. Brilliant, well done. Okay, and then finally, we're going to plop some raisins into our glass. 
Okay. Brilliant. What's happening, Brenda? Well, nothing actually. They're just sitting at the bottom. It's a bit disappointing. Yes. Okay. Well, they might just need a bit of time to warm up and get their energy going, a bit like we do in the morning. So why we'll keep an eye on those. Why don't we recap what happened last week? Can you remember what we learned about last week, Brenda? Hmm. Oh, well, we learned about when Peter jumped in the sea with all his clothes on. Did you just see that raisin rise up? I did. How did that happen? Amazing. Keep watching everybody. Oh, look at this. Wow. Whoa. Oh, and there's another one. That's exciting. So, oh, and down again. So we learnt that Peter jumped off the boat into the water fully clothed. But Brenda, why did he do that? Well, because Jesus was there. And then Jesus forgave Peter and told him to look after his people. Brilliant. Well done. That's right. You see, Peter had messed up, hadn't he? But then Jesus showed himself to Peter. He forgave Peter and told him to look after his people. Now we're going to carry on learning what happens next in the Bible. And in this story, we're going to see that Jesus is also going to rise up a little bit like our raisin, but it's even more amazing. So why don't you sit down, let's be quiet and watch this video. God's masterpiece. God is with us. This is Jesus. Hey -o. Jesus is the savior of the world and the son of God. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. But some people did not like what Jesus was doing, and they put him to death. He died on a cross and was buried in a tomb. For three days, Jesus' body laid in that tomb, and it seemed that there was no hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body, found that his tomb was empty and that he was no longer there. Ah! For he was risen. He was alive. Woohoo! Huh? hey -o. And then for the next 40 days, Jesus appeared to his disciples and many others and showed them that he was alive and well. He taught them that what he did was the only way that they could be forgiven and be with God forever. Jesus told his disciples that he did all the things that God had told everyone that he would do, and the disciples understood what he was saying. Yep, that makes sense. He told them that he would send the Holy Spirit just as God had promised to be their helper. Sounds good. After Jesus had spent 40 days with the disciples and appeared to many people, hey, that's it. he led the disciples to a place called Bethany. Jesus blessed the disciples and told them to go out and tell the whole world about him and the good news of forgiveness and make disciples of them. Then he said, be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Then Jesus was taken into heaven to sit at the right hand of God. The disciples knew that God would truly be with them always, and the Holy Spirit is still with us today, for Jesus promised that he would be with us to the end of the age, and he is. everyone for sitting and listening so nicely. Now, Janine, can you tell us more about what Jesus said to his disciples before he left? 
Yeah, they can definitely do that. So let's pick up God's word. Remember, the Bible is God's word. It's how he speaks to us. And I'm going to read you from Matthew chapter 28, starting at verse 11. And this is what it says. Then the 11 disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Janine, in that reading, I heard a big, big Bible, Bible word. Thank you, Brenda. And what was the big, big Bible, Bible word? It was disciple. Very good. We know what disciple means now, don't we? Disciple means a follower of Jesus. Brilliant. Well done. So, Brenda. What was Jesus telling his disciples to do? Well, he was telling them to make disciples of all nations. Excellent. What does that mean? Um, not really, no. No. You see, before this time, the Jewish people were God's chosen people. But now Jesus is telling his disciples to go and tell everybody. It doesn't matter what country you live in. It doesn't matter how far away they are. Everyone is part of God's family. They're going to go and tell them the good news of who Jesus is. But Brenda, are they doing that all by themselves? No, they're not. Because Jesus said, I am with you always to the end of the age. That's right. I am with you always. And that's pretty great because you see Jesus is telling this to his disciples. But if you are trusting and following in Jesus, then he is with you always as well. And that is brilliant because we are never alone. That Lord Jesus is always going to be with us. That is great news. Um, Janine. There is a word that's used that we haven't learnt much about. It's Holy Spirit. Very good, Brenda. It does talk about the Holy Spirit. Now, we're going to learn all about what the Holy Spirit is next week. So make sure that you come back and learn all about what happens when the Holy Spirit comes. So the two things that we need to learn from this passage today is one, that we are all to go and tell people about Jesus so that they can be friends with Jesus and be saved. And the second thing is that Jesus is with us always, which is really good news. So why don't we take this time to pray? Okay, everybody, let's see your wiggly fingers and your washing machine hands. Can you go really fast, really fast? and clap. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, thank you that we have the Bible that tells us all about you and your rescue plan for us. Lord, today we see Jesus telling his disciples to tell others of who you are. Lord, help us to tell our friends and our family all about the amazing gift that is Jesus. And Lord, we are so thankful that you are with us always. Lord, when we're feeling sad or alone, help us to pray to you so that we don't feel so lonely in those moments. And Lord, we're sorry when we do things that we know you would not like. Please forgive us, Lord. We know that you are a good God. And Lord, as we get ready for another week of school, help each and every one of us, wherever we are, to trust you and follow you and speak of who you are. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen, 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 I agree, amen. Brilliant. Well done, everybody. Now, before we go, everyone, we've got a few notices for you. Now, I've heard there are a few spaces left on Explore 814, which is the camp happening in May half term. So if you'd like to go along, you can book following the link that's on Facebook. Brilliant. Yes, do book online for that. Uh, also, if you are able to come to church, we would love to see you at our three o'clock services. Do book early through uh, the church website or church suite for that. We would love to see you. Janine, do you know we've not sung My Lighthouse in ages? Do you think we could sing that now? That's a great idea. Do you like My Lighthouse at home? It's definitely a favourite in our house. Okay, everyone. Well, it's been lovely to spend this time with you. But until next time, it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. And goodbye from Brenda. Goodbye. Shall we sing My Lighthouse? Yay! 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 Yes. Try.